What's up, guys? <clears throat> so I'm uh, back at it again. Out here in this, uh, this area where I shot that doe a couple weeks ago. I uh, put a camera about 75 yards away from where I am. From where I am, that's going. It's looking over a trail that's going into that creek bottom that I was walking around in in that episode. If you haven't seen that yet, you should definitely go watch it. Click up here. Um, <clears throat> I haven't shot a buck yet this season. It's a general gun opener, so. It's time to start doing more duck hunting, so deer season's kind of ending for me. So I'm basically at the point where a young buck's gonna get it too. <clears throat> There's a lot of hogs too, so I'd be very happy with a hog. I haven't shot one in two years. So <clears throat> we're overlooking uh, a different part of the field that we were hunting uh, two weeks ago. Um, probably about 600 yards away from where I was then. Got some really nice trails here. Um, it's gonna be a short sit this morning. I got a little bit of work I gotta do uh, later on. But we're here for four days, so let's hope it turns out good. Finally got some action. And by finally, I mean I've been here like an hour, but <clears throat> had a little buck come through. Put the crosshairs on him. I looked at him through the scope and started counting the points. And the, uh, he had, I think he had three on one side, but it was too, too close to call it. Um, one of them didn't look like it was an inch. And he definitely didn't have a 10 inch main beam, so I let him walk. Hopefully, he makes it to next year. Cause, <sighs> all right, guys, we're, we're back out here for the afternoon. I'm a little more excited about the afternoon now because I had a chance to look at some of the camera pictures that we had. And um, there's a shooter buck <clears throat> that's been coming through about. 75 yards over to my right every single night um, for the past like week. It's not a huge buck, but he's definitely legal. <clears throat> and even though the pictures are only at night, um, he lives around here, so I can see really far. I got about 200 yard shot across this field right here. And um, there's been a lot of hog activity uh, right before sunset, so the temperature just dropped. We had a lot of rain last week, and it's finally dry. And there hasn't been any hunting here for two weeks, so there's a lot of things that uh, I think are in favor of deer moving right now. So I'm excited for this sit. Thank <laughs> you. 
how does this guy not see me right now? I feel like a lot of people would get pissed off. Have some guy walking through their setup, but you know what? And I, I really don't mind. It's public land, we all own it. I told him, I was like, man, let's work together. You get into that thick stuff, you know, and try and push something out. If something comes out because of him and I shoot it, you bet your ass. I'll be looking him up and trying to share the meat with him because he contributed to that just as much as I did. So just try and keep that in mind, you know, when you're hunting out in public land, just try to work together. It doesn't, doesn't do anybody any good to just be fighting all the time, so. Anyway, whoever that guy was, if you check out this video, good luck. I hope you shoot something. So we just had another little rain, little rain flurry come through. It's like it's 5:53. Sunset. Is that like I believe at 5:30? I'll have to check. But so there's about an hour, a little bit more than an hour of shooting light left. It just stopped raining and the wind completely died. If I was a deer, I'd get up right now. So, fingers crossed. incredible <clears throat> how it just goes to show how sneaky these animals are that deer was 25 30 yards away right behind me out in the open I wouldn't have shot it anyway, so. But by the time I got the camera on her, I, I couldn't see her in the viewfinder. But I was pointing the camera right at her. <clears throat> it's not easy. Anyway, I just heard the first shot, which means the deer are starting to move, so hopefully there's a buck coming behind that doe.
Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a nice book. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he went down right there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't know what buck that is, but I think it might be the buck that uh, that we that had come by during archery season. It's a nice buck. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh my god, that's so exciting. I gotta mark that real quick before I forget exactly where it was. I'm gonna drop a pin. Ooh. I knew it, I knew it. I saw his back out there just disappear and I was freaking out because I just had a feeling that he gave me the slip. I didn't see him until right when his back disappeared and I thought he was gonna go out that way, the way that that doe took off but he came back around and started heading my way. I don't know how far away I shot him, but it was probably, it wasn't that far, maybe like 70 yards. It looked like he went down right away. Sorry for making this video really long, but I'm excited. Yo, what up, dog? I got something moving around me. Oh, oh shit, okay. Was it a buck? I just drilled a nice buck. But I saw him go down. He's like maybe 80, 90 yards away from me. I saw him too. <laughs> All right, man. Yo, be quiet. See, wait, can you see something or do you just hear stuff? I, I hear something over by the creek. Okay, cool. Yeah, dude, they're moving. Big buck down. Big buck down. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. I saw him go down and everything. Is yeah. that a big buck? It, I, it's hard to tell because it's already getting kind of dark, but he definitely had. It, it was bigger than the one that I kept getting on camera. I, it might. Who knows? It might be one of the ones that we saw. It's. A, it looks. Oh shit. It looked. It's hard to tell, man. It's pretty dark. And I was really amped up, but it looked like the antlers were outside the ears. Nice. Yeah. And I, it was behind shit, and I kept looking at him through the scope, and I couldn't see his his head. Like, I could have shot him a few times, but I couldn't see his head, and I just kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And finally, he comes out from behind this tree, and he's walking straight towards me, and I could see his rack was like, basically to the ears, maybe a little bit outside. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Good yeah. stuff, dude. What up, player? Congratulations. Here's your prize. A bug net? Oh my god. Mister, the mosquitoes don't bother me anymore. <laughs> Bro, the mosquitoes are fing terrible. Aren't they insane? Man. It, I mean, it's got to be because of all this rain. But anyway, there, there's like this game trail right here. That is the game trail I showed you on, uh, I sent you a picture of it. It's like super beaten down. You go down here and there's like a grassy area, it looks like, that cuts across. Yeah. And I shot him over there. So I figure we'll cut across here and see if we can find blood at the hit site. I'm pretty sure I shot him like somewhere around here. So we ran uh, that direction over I there? I went like this? 
Yeah. And then he like doubled back, and I think I saw him fall back here. Okay. So, do you want to just try and walk right to where I think he is, and if he's there, then cool, and if he's not, we'll come back and actually try and find him. I think that's probably. There you are. Hell yeah. Well, I'm glad we didn't spend a, two hours looking for blood. Dude. Whoa. <laughs> that is devastating. God, look at that. Whoa. Wow. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. That is. I mean, I drilled him right through the heart. I can't believe he made it as far as he did. Wow. Dude, this is a nice buck. Look at that. One, this two, is three, not. Eight? This is not. One, two, that's three, an eight, eight. But this is not one of the bucks that we've seen before. Oh man, he's dead as dead as. Dude, I can't believe how much damage that did. That's insane. Wow. Place right here. He like came from back here. Like he came around like this, and he turned back, and then he was standing here. And I couldn't see him. He was kind of behind this bush. And, but then I just see him like rear up and tip over back. Oh, he did the back, back drop. Yeah. Dude, that's a nice buck. Hey, that's number one for the season. Hell no, yeah. Never too late. Oh. All right, guys. I'm uh, so happy this came together with a nice eight point. This is an area that Danny and I hunted a bunch. Uh, this season and, and in archery season, we had a pretty close encounter with two really nice bucks. This isn't one of those bucks, so those two are still out here. But, you know, regardless, I knew there was some nice bucks out here. And uh, This morning I had a young buck come by um, that wasn't, you know, was kind of borderline shooter and I, I let it walk. I had a doe come through probably 10 minutes before this buck and, uh, and she kind of snuck in on me, but she winded me like 20 seconds later. But, so I was looking, I was just like staring out of this field. I just had a feeling they were gonna be moving. We started hearing shots like going off, you know, one after the other. So we knew the deer were up on their feet. And all of a sudden I saw this, just a body walking around right back here. And I couldn't get a shot. He kept going behind stuff, behind trees, and I, I couldn't see his antlers. And, uh, you know, I was starting to feel the fever real bad. I was getting really nervous um, and then you know finally he popped out and i looked at him through the scope and i he was looking right at me and i saw that his antlers were and i knew he was a shooter and um i just put the camera on him i i couldn't even see him in the camera it was like it was kind of starting to get dark already uh, but i saw a tree and i knew he was standing next to the tree i just put the camera on that squeezed the trigger and i'm, I'm like shocked at the damage that this this bullet did i, I shot him with a 30 out six of the remington core locked and it didn't it didn't go all the way through. I don't really know what happened. It'd be interesting to see when we uh, when we skin him out, but it made a huge hole. Um, he ran like 40 yards and then he just toppled over. So super excited, but uh, it's gonna be a late night. We gotta get him back to the check station, get him skinned out. So. This right here is why you need one of these racks on the back of your bike. If you want one, hit up Danny. Yeah. He can get you uh, sorted out. All right, let's ride this thing to the check station. All right, guys, so I'm back at my house now, and uh, right here I've got the casing uh, from the buck that I shot. But you can see I put the date there. I put an eight point, and on the back side of it, I have the wildlife management area that I, uh, that I shot this buck at. And uh, I kind of do this with, like, all of my, uh, my harvest, so... Here I've got the casing for uh, the eight point I shot last year. I've got all the tags here and I write that stuff on the tags as well. And so I just have a whole bunch of trinkets I keep there. So this uh, 30-06 casing is going right there. But as I came home and I actually uh, wrote on that casing and put it up there, I started thinking about this shed. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't talk about this in uh, the, the video from last week or two weeks ago when I shot that doe with the muzzle loader, but when I was walking around in the, the creek bed, I found this shed. Well, I set it down next to uh, the antlers of the buck that I just shot this week. 
lo and behold, the main beam, the main frame, the, the shape of it, and the position of this G2 tine are identical. This is 100% the same buck that I just shot this week. Super cool. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to mount this buck together with uh, this shed. Uh, so if you guys have any cool ideas of how to mount this buck, uh, drop a comment down below. And let me know uh, what your idea is. Anyway, just super cool that I found the shed two weeks before I shot him. Thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate all the support that we get. Um, and if you want to support the channel a little bit more, um, go check out our Patreon page. You can find it at patreon.com slash swamp and stomp. Um, also, we have we just recently put together a merch store and we have some cool t-shirts and sh um, hats and things like that. So go check that out. There's a link down in the description. Um, and other than that, just make sure you're uh, subscribed, like the video, drop us a comment if you have any questions. We really appreciate y'all. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.